Hey, how you doing? I'm Vince, I'm Backyard Mangoes, and I'm with... Tony and, and David. And Tony, where are you guys from? We're from the other, the West Coast in Largo called Mango Manor. The Mango Manor, and I'm sure you guys have seen his stuff. So we have three mangoes here today. This is a, a Glen. Uh, I believe this is a Tommy, so it's up to you whether we cut oh, yeah. it or not. Yeah, that's oh, you'll do it. Uh, I, I, never we'll had with the, I never had a Tommy from a regular tree because we always had them from the store, which, you know. Okay. No oh, okay. So here's my thing on Tommy. I know they get a lot of hate in the in the mango community, you know, oh, this and that, and da, da, da. But I'll tell you what, I have never had a customer complain about a Tommy. They, what they say is um, they'll say something to the effect of, Oh, I can get a Tommy in a store and I'll say something to the effect of, but can you, the Tommy that you get in a store is like a McDonald's versus a barbecue hamburger. Yeah. It's like 59 cent ramen versus going to a legit uh, ramen mm. restaurant. So yeah, try the Tommy here and tell me what you gentlemen think. It's a little bit more dense than some mangoes. Not real juicy. This one is not. All right, so this is the earliest part of the season. Mm -hmm. And you're right, it's not as juicy as it could be. Because this is probably like the first one that came off the tree this season. And normally they're much bigger. Um, not bad. They're Right, it has a little fiber. Yeah. Very classic taste. Um, and, and for... In the mango world, like that we're in, it, it, people are get it, it gets hate. But <laughs> when I ship these, I've never had somebody say, "Oh, I'm disappointed in that flavor," or especially when you're comparing it to all you've ever had was a uh, grocery store mango. Store bought. Yeah, that's so, all we had was the, the grocery store Tommy. Yeah, <laughs> and so yeah, and this is yeah, this it's a little different. Like he said though, like he explained, it's not the ripest one because it's the it's the newest one or the earliest one picked. Right. And that's why I said, well, we'll do this one first because this is not going to be the highlight. <laughs> this is not. Let me get this bad spot out of there. And, and this may have even fallen off the tree. And you can see it needs a little bit. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Uh, it needs a little more, more time to ripen for sure. Yeah. Um, here you guys. Uh, here's another one. So, but it's a, it's, you know, it's a solid mango. They ship well. Uh, now this is a Glen, and this one I believe is overripe. Uh, I can, but I think the Glens, the Glens for me are hit and miss. And but I think this year being as dry as it's been for as long as it's been, uh -huh. really it develops the flavor. This may be. And what is that? A oh, little too much. This, what is this right there? Right on this side. Yeah. What is that? It probably fell or fall. It, 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 that, so that's a bruise, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't ship this. That's why it's sitting here. <laughs> the good, the good stuff gets shipped, and we eat all this stuff that has uh, a drop and a bruise and things. Um, <laughs> and this may be overripe. I can smell it's it's a little bit, uh, let's say, strong in its smell. So if it's overripe, uh, let me know, and I won't force you to eat it. And what is it? A Glen? It's a Glen. Yeah. No. Overripe. Yeah. Oh, when, yeah. they, when they become overripe, you can't eat them. They become tasting like a vegetable. Yeah, that's and that taste in my mouth is no good. Yeah, so I that's can... what happens. Not just this mango, other mangoes as well. We I, that we experience if they become overripe, some of them are not good. Yeah. There's are, there are a few that are still good, like sugarloaf, overripe last year. That was incredible tasting. You don't want a gram overripe. You ever had a gram? No. Don't. Well, we don't we don't know if we had a real gram that was picked right. So we don't really know. And well, you said you don't like care for the Indian flavors. And Graham has that resin. Uh, tar, brine, piney resin in there. So you're probably not going to care. No, we it. wouldn't care for the now, resin. Now, what is, what is this one? Okay. Oh, so this one. Yeah, let's Beautiful. highlight it. <laughs> so this is the one I posted on my Facebook page a couple days ago in the evening, afternoon sun. A uh, lot of people commenting on it. This is called an all summer. And... Um, it was re it's ready to be picked. We let this try to ripen as much as we can on the tree. I noticed the backside has a little green, so I'm thinking there may be some uneven ripening here, but we are going to go for it. Now, Davey Wavy and I have not had a 
okay. all summer. We said so we have no clue what this gonna mm. taste like. So there's the you know, smell. Oh my gosh. This mm, is definitely that's, not that's, overripe. It's yeah, probably just good. about perfect. But it smells good. The nice. mouth is water. It smells <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Try that. Yeah, that uh Oh God, the sweet smell. Now that's what you're talking about. Oh, that's juicy. Wow. And sweet. And citrusy. Mm -hmm. A little. Mm -hmm. Citrusy. No fiber. All the way down no to the, all the way down to the skin. Available. Mm -hmm. Available now. No, I only have a few of these. I think there was wow. about 20 of those on the tree. And um, mm. those are good. Mm. <laughs> that's, those are good that's the reaction i love from my that's customers. top tier right that's, yeah that's top tier and, and you know what we have 100 varieties at the mango manor but guess what we don't have this one we're getting it <laughs> <laughs> we are going to zills today right <laughs> yeah um does he have any for sale uh i'd have to check i have a list i mean there might I be some that are right i placed a big order so we could oh that's why i'm going down there i got a picking wow. up 30 trees yeah, we ordered a box from uh, Backyard Mangoes, and we also ordered our brother-in-law one as well, my brother-in-law, that we're going to have sent up there. He, he ships beautiful mangoes. I'll go in for another. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. This is worth, definitely worth it. I think I better save that for the mother-in-law. Mm. We have more trees and more mangoes. Mm. I'll just keep this little piece. Mm. Unbelievable. And where it is green up here? It is not as sweet. It's still good, but it's not as sweet as where the the, the colorful part of the mango is, just so you know. Did Zill, is this his variety? Yes. Now, this is a Zill variety. Um, I don't know how long ago it was developed. It used to be called Marlis. They changed somehow. The name has evolved. Um, I think we could do a whole video on some of the evolving names of mangoes and what they've been called through years but delicious that is definitely a um De definitely top tier i i'm wow mm. i gotta put that in my list for 2024 <laughs> <laughs> of one of the best and what kind is this is it what is it indonesian or uh what classic type? it kind of falls into the classic category classic player. yeah and but it's a just an <clears throat> outstanding Very and now that i have it cut open so I went to Zill to buy some trees a few years ago. They didn't have one of the trees I wanted. Uh, they had some other mangoes there in their, where they do some mango sales. And so I was sampling a few of the different mangoes. I'm like, no, no, no. And I had this one and I was like, that's it. That's wow. the one. And so we, we were able to get this tree and uh what i see here now this is a smaller one for the size too they usually are a bit a little bit bigger <coughs> from my understanding, wow. i believe if i remember correctly because it's been a couple years i've been waiting for a while <laughs> patience is key and um but it looks to me like so the, the seed's not real big is it is the it? seed to meat ratio that's what i was getting ready to inspect the the seed to meat ratio seems like it's this is why you learn how to fillet. <laughs> yeah, look how that wow. is like that That's is ma, thin. That is mahash enough thin. Yeah, or even Malik. Well, Malik is a little thinner, but still, it's very, very close. So that is. Wow. Here. Do we have room for one more tree? <laughs> no. The question is, what do you got to take out? <laughs> the wrap. You said you're taking out your coconut cream. <laughs> yeah, but we have parlay oh, there now. Parlay. Mm. I might be taking and buttercream. Out, I might be taking out my coconut cream too. <laughs> coconut cream. <laughs> I mean, it's not real. It's not resiny. This it, was worth not. driving to West Palm Beach. Oh, I know. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a statement. Uh -huh. exactly. And we can get a few four of and those. a half hours. If we can get a few of those, maybe from Zills to take home, that would be incredible. Yeah. I'm hoping that maybe he has a couple right. That's <laughs> the highlight of the tour Woo! so far. Well, thank you. They are very, very good. good. Wow, that is, I didn't realize the seed. That is thin. I can't believe that either. I that wonder really if they're is. all that thin. I mean, because, I mean, the last one I had was a couple years ago. So I, wow. memory fails. And so I'm wondering if they were all that thin or is this a one off? Now, how many do you have on your tree currently? 
approximately 15, mm. maybe 20. And how big is your tree? I believe I planted that about two years ago, maybe three, uh, as a seven gallon tree, if I remember correctly. It was sort of big enough last year to produce when the great mango season 2023 hit and it didn't produce and i was like a little frustrated but this season uh when no mango or fewer mangoes and production's way down this thing popped alive oh. and it produced uh you know 15 20 mangoes yeah. on there so for the first I'm, year I'm, that's good um yeah first year but it was a little bit mature and, and i think that goes to show um the the patience of waiting because had it produced last year mm -hmm. i think there could have been uh, a delay um right. so by waiting and and it itself i believe right wait. so very good mm, that's well i'm cool. glad you guys enjoyed that well thank and, you and um yeah that's uh that what was... other ones do you have <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> well <laughs> just I, I, so i think you uh, super joy do you guys have super joy well we just teleported it, but why do you have one that's not do you have one that's i might I'm oh not. i would like to try another super joy just yeah. to see even okay though we don't I have will, a tree anymore i will be honest it, it, it was frozen from last year okay um, i think it's it may be thawed let's see <laughs> That was delicious. Very good. What's going on? Mm. Even if you get some science oh, yeah. and we can plug, that's, that's what I'm doing. Plug right. one of the trees. So this is going to be a little mushy because it was frozen. So when they freeze, the flavor is usually still pretty good. It's okay. pretty on point. The problem then becomes the texture, um, um, and especially because I, I, do you guys freeze your mangoes? Do you like freeze it like that whole? Yeah. Yeah. I never froze a whole one like that. Throw it in whole. Now the problem is it is mushy. I can feel it and. and but it was ripe when we put it in. So let's see, and I probably the inside is still frozen. Yeah. But but you but this is like ice cream right now. Like what'll happen is is um let me give you like this. I'm gonna give you this whole big chunk. And it's it's here's a spoon if you want to try a spoon. Or or go for it. You'll get a brain freeze. Here you go. You want to? Mm. Now the Mahachinooks, when we freeze like this, are really good. Uh, I have not tried a Super Julie frozen. But that'd be good mid-summer. I can't uh, to freeze them. Yeah, like that's like ice cream mm, there. Mm. That is like pure mango ice mm. cream. Sorbet. Mm-hmm. Has a very short babe. Yeah. So around the skin, be, uh, be where it thawed is, it's mushy and it's not appetizing. It's not very mm. uh, whatever. But if you let it, and been part of it is I had to thaw it in warm water because this was an impromptu. <laughs> why? Why doesn't it taste like the Julie? The Julie has a it doesn't. Taste it's like a different. That. It's a different mango. Well, no, no, yeah, I know, but, I mean, it's, but it's a very, it's a similar, right, isn't it? Mm -mm. It's not even anything. No, other, it's just the other than the having name. the name, but it, oh, that, I that's, thought... that's like saying uh, uh, you're this Tony and Tony Danza, and you guys are it's not. You're Tony Danza and Tony is. Our... Well, isn't that like Alfonso and Super Alfonso? Yeah, they're, wow. Yeah, so maybe we might have tried something else because uh, the one we tried wasn't as good. And that's, that's the not, first and time I've ever seen being her... frozen. Freezing like that, yeah. just the whole mango. No, I good. like that. Yeah, and like on a summer, like I said, now, like I said, it, it gets appetite. Uh, it's a little, eh. but even that around mm. that skin, like mm. yeah, like pull that skin off. Right. I don't think we had a. a I don't know if we really so pull had the a skin super, off. Super drooly. Now and then I'm thinking come in because here. they never tasted like that, did not they? And even this like pulpy, oh, this little got yeah. string in there. It looks kind of gross, but good it's delicious <laughs> and it's so juicy it is, I, well, I love mango season uh, i do too oh my god it is an amazing time of the year so yeah and you just can pull that i can still smell the one that's overripe that's in 
in my what's whatever that one. What was the one with the right? Oh, a Glen. You can smell it. <laughs> oh, uh, but this is really good. Actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah. This this right here, just doing this and this mushy pulpy. It's uh, my hands are a mess, <laughs> like a five year old, but. <laughs> Okay. Gotta love it. It's good. And I'll save this for my son and mother in law inside. <laughs> and we won't force them to eat the Glen. No. Because that Glen was awful. Well, um, thank you guys for visiting. And I'm glad you enjoyed uh, at least two of the mangoes. Well, the Tommy, hopefully. I, oh, no, we enjoyed the Tommy. I think you, um, I don't think I sent you any Tommies last year, mm -hmm. but I might throw a ripe Tommy in, in a box for this time, just one, mm -hmm. and have you, uh, you know, inspect it when it's more perfectly ripe. But I'm glad you like the all summer, and I'm glad you like the Super Julie. And I see you yeah. thinking about where are you going to put these in your yard again? Well, not, not the Super I see, Julie. I see. Super <laughs> Julie, I can just leave the brands come out on that, on because we have the tree already. Yeah. I just talked more to a Maha, but... Well, Vince, I thank you very much. Yes, thank this was you. very good. And very I, I really enjoyed it. And thank you for letting us taste the, what was it? The, all summer. All summer. Wow, yeah. that's the that's incredible mango. If you haven't had that one, you got to get that And one. we're going to freeze mangoes whole. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking I about never... buying a deep chest freezer. Yeah. Just for that reason, huh. to freeze many of them. And wow. because, as you guys know, I'm, I'm sure it's the same where you're from on the west coast of Florida. Uh, our some, our our uh, green markets don't operate in the summer. It's just too brutally hot. Yeah. And what I thought about doing to try to uh, increase education awareness, because here in West Palm Beach, we have one of the, uh, I think it's rated top five green markets in the country. It's a really nice, nice green market. <clears throat> but I can't sell because I don't have mangoes. So I was thinking about buying a big, deep chest, Freezing a bunch of mangoes oh. and then showing up at the green market with fro like fresh, real frozen mm. mango. Wow. And then have people uh, experience because we have so many northern residents and yeah. all they've had is a store bought thing. And when if I were to put this uh, Super Julie or that all summer in their hand, then I'm going to have you hooked. They'll never <laughs> buy another store mango. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, by the end of season, just before season starts, I'm so desperate. There will be a time, like maybe in April, like I was in Walmart and they had um, Altolfo mangoes and I'm like, all right, I'm going to try it. And it I was, do, I do the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, but we have a nice Asian market up the street and they have, um, sometimes they'll get something in. They had Nam Doc Mai uh, last season. And so, and they were pretty well taken care of. So we got those and they were actually very good um, mm -hmm. for, for a store mango. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but thank you, gentlemen, for coming. I'm glad you enjoyed the visit. Thank you. And um, I'll put links to their uh, channel called Mango Manor, correct? That's right, Mango Manor. And everybody knows I'm back here at Mango's. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Delicious. <laughs>